Things are changing so fast. What do you see coming? But, you know, what are the things that you, they could be good, they could be bad, you know, things you fear. Um, but what, where do you think it's headed from here in terms of this? I mean, streaming, there, there's so many different vicissitudes. Um, um, do you I, see anything I, I'd go coming? back to what you were saying at the beginning and what Pete said, which was different than you. I, I think of it like a Dickens novel. I think it's like the best of times and the worst of times. Uh -huh. You know, it, there's never been more opportunity, mm -hmm. and yet it's never been harder to like make the right kinds of deals and get shows on the air and make them stick because mm -hmm. there's so much competition and mm -hmm. you know there's so much clutter that ex exists out there. Do you think the the Malthus theory is, in other words, are we going to have <laughs> yes, finally but, too many goddamn series on television and and they'll just all get lost in the shuffle? Are we approaching that, or we seem to be expanding? Well, exponentially and everybody's doing great can it, that just it, go on it forever? depends on uh unbundling i uh -huh. think because if that happens then you know tomorrow uh -huh. a huge swath of the cable channels could just go away completely yeah. wow we don't want that That's yeah. i think that, i do not want that let's <laughs> keep it together people keep it together <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to direct tv buy netflix do it all um <laughs> <laughs> Everything, Amazon, yeah. <laughs> all of it's all great. Um, I think the biggest challenge we have, honestly, is creating awareness that shows exist. Mm. And um, and I think there's going to be some really smart people that are going to figure out a way, using social media or the way we're all connected, to reinvent how awareness of a show, um, how to, to create awareness in a way that we haven't done traditionally. How, you know. You know, these networks, they're spending millions and millions, Morgan remembers, Quan remembers, of dollars to, to market a show, and still most of it is 30-second spots on television and billboards in major markets. And there's got to be a system in which we can, you know, reduce those that burden off the networks and the distributors and get people to know shows exist. And someone who comes up with that idea is, I think, going to make a lot of money and, and really help. But uh, awareness is the biggest challenge and it's yeah. why most of the things that I focus on now um, are intellectual property because it helps the network once they buy it and they decide they want to air it, you know, um, get an audience there in an easier way. You know, one of the shows we had sold uh, to Amazon early, it was a uh, Chris Carter show. And it was, you know, you could see as Amazon was kind of making decisions about it, it was like Chris Carter hasn't done television for a very long time and that's a, that's a great story to tell, and a lot he has a lot of fans, you know, and you know he's an amazing talent, and so you all these things really creating awareness is a huge challenge right now, and and coming up as a producer when you have a great idea to have a strategy that this is going to help the network create awareness for something, it's relevant in some way, is really valuable. 